Hey, you guys. So we are back in um, Carlos King. I know you're watching. Um, yeah, Antoinette needs to go. Yeah. No, no. Melanie, bring no. Melanie in. I need to know what she got going on because she seemed to be a perfect fit for these group of girls. She seemed to be even balanced. She seemed like she can handle it, and she don't seem like she fake. Antoinette, all everything fake. Well, that's her opinion. Including which I, her teeth, it looked like a teeth fake too. She's a dentist. Oh, that's probably okay. Her teeth fake. Well, that's her opinion. I don't think she needs to go. Squeaky voice needs to go. She don't have no yeah, storyline. She need to go too. Yeah, uh, she need. She trying to dig up All her right, old let's boyfriend. Talk. Let's talk about when we get in here. All right, yeah, let's go. We keep it. Hey you guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Courtney and this is my husband. E-dub y'all, E-dub y'all. Oh, country. All right, you guys, so if this is, if this is, what you got, fleas or something? What you scratching for? Thing about squeaky voice maybe itch. Oh, make a itch, mm -hmm. <laughs> don't blame um, um, If this is your first time joining, let me tell you what this channel is all about. This channel is about Courtney and Eddie. We do relationship topics, reviews, and right now we're doing um, Bell Collective. Um, so yeah, if you hadn't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and join the co-ed family because we want y'all over here in our family. So when we get ready to have our family reunion, you will get an invite, all right? Um, so yeah, let's and go ahead and get into it. If you come to the family reunion, do, do not bring no potato salad with raisins in it. Yeah. If you're watching us via <laughs> Facebook, make sure you go ahead and hit like and follow. And let's go and get into this, y'all. Because y'all already seen that intro. Y'all know I'm in my feelings because of Antoinette. But I ain't finna talk about her right now. I don't know why you don't like Antoinette, man. She's successful. She's she's and, uh, she's got she uh, business on. And, and she's right. short. And, uh, Jeff Marie is a successful, she say. She's a business owner, who? she say. Marie. So why I got to like her because of that? I, I, I like Marie either. I know. Uh, uh, it's three of them that can go. But anyway, let's go and get into uh, it. Actually, the whole... No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So um, it's called Sister Vention. So now y'all talk about Kaylon or Kaylin, but I tend to seem like she come back balanced, but she invited the girls out to a farm and they didn't know they was going, so they came with their little heels and red bobs and dressed up and stuff. So, you want to say something? Yeah. How do you not know driving down dirt road that you're going to need some other shoes on? I know they got halfway to their destination. They probably said, oh, we in the country. I got high heels on. Maybe we need to turn around and go get some tennis shoes. Oh, yeah, that's why I turn around, what, to the nearest mall in the country. I'm just saying, women, y'all think so. Sometimes. You know, men's, okay, dog, yeah, okay, we're going to get dirty, so I'm going to get my well, shoes it's, on. Well, if nah. you don't know where you're going, you should bring an extra pair of shoes. But anyway, that's hindsight. You know, it's girls, they fruit fruit, so they wasn't thinking they was going to. Hey, it's not like they live in L.A. They in Mississippi. That's true, too. Listen, okay. so being in Mississippi, that Antoinette couldn't say the word farm. She's, like She's not farm. from Mississippi. But don't you learn farm E I E I O growing up? She probably did. She went straight from that to college, kindergarten to college, and she didn't learn. She's how to not say from the farm. South. All right, Antoinette, I'm taking up for you. You is. A, uh, I'm it, taking up for you. I don't Best know I why. Can. Because if you can't say farm, honey, and I, you can't a say, I can't say farm. You just said it. Let's move on. <laughs> And we find out that this farm is owned by black-owned business. Right. So yes, we love that black-owned businesses and black, you know, female entrepreneurs are in this, you know, episode or in the show as a whole. They may be a little oh. ratchet, but... And guess man. who invited them to the black-owned farm? Kaylin. Mm, yeah, she did. Yeah, y'all yeah, talk bad about Kaylin. So they mm. trying to run and catch the goats and do all that... Anyway, just doing too Kayla's much. Kayla's on cutting on grass. She said she a uh, goat. So and she grass. gave him some boots, too. Yeah, see, she came prepared. <laughs> <laughs> so let's move on to Marie is meeting up with a counselor and her son, Jerez, and his two mother of his two, children. Two out of three. Yeah, two out of three. I, I, sometimes I be like baby mamas. It's just such a that's bad a, light of baby that's mamas. That's what they are, baby mamas. But anyway, so she's meeting up with them, and they're all sitting outside, you know, talking. And one of them name is Tori, and the other one is KK. 
So she asked him, you know, like, what are you expecting out? You know, what is it that Jay, I think she called him Jay, Jay is not doing that you want him to do? And they basically like, you know, just make sure you're there for your, your child. Just, you know, see him often, you know, make sure you take care of him and everything. And so um, you want to say something? No, I'll finish it. Okay. I'll so so Marie said that um, she wants the... The, the children's mother to go to her son and if her son needs some he come to her so that they can get the money he can get the money from her and just kind of eliminate her because they won't know where he get the money from or whatever so you know and the counselor just sitting there looking me being a man i understand he's 21 okay i understand he's in school should have thought about that before you lay down when the women got the women pregnant that's just that's just me and also by him asking his mom for the money for his kids, that's to me is kind of handicapping. It is him as a man, and as a have father. A job, though. Well, he can still go to school and get a part time job. Yeah, you know, see. you got responsibilities now, man. Yeah, you you know? know, you got man up. You got man up, man. Uh, I just feel like she's handicapping handicapping him by doing that. You know, you no. Know, if he ain't got the money, you know, you go to him. He can come to me and get the money. No, 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 no. That's his kids. You know, let him raise his kids and be a man and man up, like you said. Yeah, he's in school. Get a part-time job, you know, and have some money so you can give your babies, man. And see, and he's, I, he said he had a father in his life. That's what he said. And I just wish somebody would say, hey, man, uh, you got a promising career. You're an athlete. Watch what you do with your girlfriends. Because... Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes I'm gonna say it's gonna derail your career, but it's gonna make it harder. You know, and uh, now he got three babies before he's 21 years old, mm -hmm. and he got to take care of the babies while he's trying to get his career going. Man, it's gonna be tough. It, don't get me wrong; it can be done, but it's gonna be rough. Yeah, and um, Marie did say that her health is, you know, like deteriorating or getting worse or declining. Because she has lupus as and well as fibromyalgia. Yeah, yeah. And I've had fibromyalgia. And it can really and truly, like, disable you. Like, put you in the bed for, like, days, you know. Um, and so, I know how it is. Thank God I don't suffer with that no more. But I know how it is. And like she said, sometimes she can't watch the kids because she have to be on medicine. Or she have to not take her medicine to be able to watch the kids. And so, it's going to be hard. And, you know, her husband, I don't know where he at. So, you know, she kind of doing this thing by herself. So, I do feel for her in that area and like eddie was saying he ain't said now but i'm gonna say it when you get through i'm okay. sure gonna say it period yeah i'm more you taking 12 pills a day you got ailments why are you on the show you know what i'm saying i'd rather for you to take care of your body you know what i'm saying because yeah you got kids you got grandkids and if you're that sick sweetie it's you know, why are you on the show? You know, I'm not making light of the situation, but 12 pills a day, yeah, that's right. a lot. It is a lot. That's a lot. Yeah. It's like, and then running her business and, um, yeah, and trying to film because you the one starting all the drama, honey. So you is stressing other people out, including yourself. So, yeah, why maybe, are you on the show? And maybe she said, well, I'm going to feel some pain. They all going to feel pain. Uh, <laughs> And uh, the ending part is that, you know, one of the, the children's moms told the other one, hey, can we be friends? We ain't got to be best friends, but can we just be for friends the for the sake of the kids? You know, they can come together and play because they siblings. Mm -hmm. So they need to know each other. And I, you know, like she said, there was some grown woman stuff right there. So well, I still don't think the other baby mom was with it, though. She said my body language is not, you know, but I am. I thought she was, you know, no, she said she, she none no, so much. No, you don't know, think so? No, man. Okay, so let's move on to this real quick, honey, because y'all know I ain't even here for it because I really want to fast forward. So Antoinette in this date, and she getting out her Kia, honey. I don't know if that was a rental car. Ah, that's a rental car. She got a lot of money. And you're right, Antoinette. You got a lot of money. That's what I'm taking up for you. <laughs> she trying to open that practice, honey. So ain't nothing wrong with a Kia. So before y'all come in the comment section, so yeah. I'm like, what's wrong with Kia? I got a Kia. It's probably better car than you got. <laughs> <laughs> no wrong with it. We just saying, you know what I'm saying? We look, when these people get on here, they supposedly have a certain kind of lifestyle. Y'all know we just be looking for that. So, yeah, anyway. Antoinette says she ain't driving her fancy car down on dirt roads. But so she will wear her heels and still get stuck in the mud. 
So anyway, she was meeting up with um, a guy that she met in Africa, Guana. Ghana, you you a black woman, you don't know how to pronounce the country Ghana. You keep calling it Guana. What's wrong with you? You ain't black. <laughs> that's y'all in the comments. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so <laughs> that's why I hit you on your show so you can, hey. so you can see. <laughs> All right, so she meeting up with this guy that she met. <laughs> In Ghana. In Ghana. And um and so anyway, um, I don't know. They just seem like an odd little couple. Oh, yeah. you know He's yeah. from Seattle, you know. She met him when he, she got a divorce. Yeah. So she was probably trying to go somewhere to get some healing. Yeah. And he was I'm, apparently he's been divorced also. So they two divorced together around the same age. So they seem like they're good friends. Yeah, they seem like they're good, good friends. friends. Yeah, they're good friends. But old oh boy was cold. Was cold he was cheering. Yeah. <laughs> Let's drink <laughs> this wine. <laughs> <laughs> and she was like, "You cold with all her skin out?" And yeah. she was like, "You cold? Let me come around there and warm you up." Yeah, I'm surprised. He's from Seattle. That little, huh? Maybe he was nervous, like you said. Yeah. He did say he was cold though. But anyway, so let's move on past them since I got me a good little chuckle because yeah. I'm not editing this. I'm going to put it in there. So y'all come for me, come for me. It don't need much matter. Yeah. So let's yeah. move on to Essie and gonna Marie. Y'all got to take a black card from her. <laughs> <laughs> Give me your black card. <laughs> so Marie and Essie are talking and they're talking about her Essie husband. Who? The husband. Okay. Hey, I didn't say it. I just I, I was gonna That's call it. That's what she. That was the, the Cedric said last time that she was the husband. I was gonna so, call it the messy, but okay. So um, that and they talking about you know he didn't come home and um everything. So they ain't nothing new. So they pretty much just saying that he don't love you know it's, he don't love you. You know he's with that other woman. I was like, ooh, she's so messy, man. When you were sick, he wasn't there. Yeah, he went with them finger waves. They love some finger waves. <laughs> I said, why they wear finger waves, man? This ain't the 1990s, but this is Mississippi. <laughs> <laughs> because uh, you know who wear them to? Who? Uh, I know this is a different show, but uh, Miss Wanda. She's from Alabama, uh, so uh, right She's from Belsma. <laughs> from Belsma, <laughs> yeah. Alabama. Yeah. Oh, you should have saw her new hairstyle last night. It was on point. It was on point. Oh, but yeah. anyway, that's a different show. Last night? Yeah, she was on the promo. Uh, the commercial. No, she was on live. Oh, okay. Yeah. And she gotta go live. So anyway, let's move on to um, Letitia and Tambra. They're meeting up with the councilman because basically, you know, last time they was having that hit love and hip hop scene. So you know, he was like, "Deuces, I gotta go." He don't want to be involved yeah, in nothing like that. He got a family. The, you ain't gonna have me in the tabloids. And yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So he got a family. He didn't want all that negativity. Right. So she, basically, she went to apologize and just make sure everything was back on. First of all, she went there to apologize. True enough. Then also. They was like they, they was in turn returning her phone calls. They like with some roadblocks, so she yeah. was trying to figure out why. And she found out because of the negativity that took place at the brunch. So you know, it what worried, happened at the brunch? In case around. people don't know, what happened? It was a love and hip hop scene. Marie huh? came on the scene. See, some of uh, you said love and hip hop. Some people don't watch love and hip hop, especially our suburban people. So what are you trying to get? So at? they got the fame. I mean, there we're about go. to get the fame. There you go. So let's move on to Tamra meet with Damon. Let's move fast because we ain't got much to say. So, oh, no, oh, 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 oh. this is BN News, Black Nation Network. Uh, Miss Tamlin, you got anything to say about your date? Yes, I am so. I, when I walked in, I was just so shocked that he had these roses for me. And I was like, oh my gosh, they're pink. Okay, this is what happened. See, now he's getting back to being romantic because he wasn't at first. And so this is why we did not um, continue our last relationship. But now he's coming back around. So yeah. <laughs> That's it from BN News. That's. 10 seconds of my life I won't get back. <laughs> no, <that's right. laughs> 
And so that's Tamara. So she had a date with her ex. And so now it seems like they may be trying to rekindle some things or whatever. And then somebody did, you know, of course we know in the comments that y'all don't like her squeaky voice. Y'all don't like her voice either. It was, I heard it was said that, you know, because she's in radio, they have to talk a certain way. But yeah, when you're on radio, that's fine. But when you're off, right. let's come on to right. reality. You know, so she's we, taking that with her too much. We, we too know much. some people that work radio and TV. Yeah. They don't talk like that when they, they not on camera oh, on radio. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Leave your work at work. Leave home at home. Yeah. So Separate she, the two. She she don't do that. No. So, um, like yeah. Doing, like, every time she talks to somebody, like she's on, doing an interview. And yeah. And why she, why was she talking when she pronounced her words? She deflects her whole body. Her whole body. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it, man. I don't get I know I'm not the best talker, but come on. I don't do that. So how your career? <laughs> like she got to come out from her stomach, her soul, and just spit it out. But anyway, so animated. I am animated too. But I like that though. So let's get on to this sister venture, honey. So we can get on and um, move past this. So <clears throat> she didn't invite Marie, which is the whole <laughs> drama. <laughs> she is the whole center for all these interventions and people trying to get along. But you didn't invite the whole no, the, core of the mess. Right. I don't get that. You know, so that makes no sense to me. Um, so Tamara said that she wants um, um, things to, you know, come together because of Ferris Street. She want to get the girls together, and um, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. That went left real quick, man. But Latrice called. Um, I thought it was funny. Latrice called Marie Man Man. She told me. <laughs> I think that's why I said she told Marie yeah. Man Man. She got a little Man Man. And I wonder why. Why? Why? Because she act like Man Man. What's a Man Man? I don't know. It wasn't. Please, in the comments, tell us what's a Man Man. Yeah, I don't it, know. Is, did she call her because she, you know? You know, act like a man. Or, I don't know. I think because she's a mean like, girl or some. She just, you know, she got her. She got her nickname. So um, you know what I called her. What you called her? I ain't gonna say it on camera. Oh, I don't can't remember. Well, I said it was both her and Essa standing in the kitchen. I said, "Why are you?" Oh yeah. <laughs> so Letitia, La, La, um, Letitia walks in because you know uh, Tamara was trying to get the girls together to talk about this before Letitia walks in. So um, Letitia, <clears throat> she greeted her with a glass of wine and she said, "Like you know, what is this? Y'all finna, you know, are we coming together or it feels like an intervention for her." So um, as they got to talking, they basically wanted to tell her, "You need to watch the company you keep." The reason the brunches are jacked up because you've been inviting Marie to them and they've been getting out of hand. And like you said, you did when she was talking to the councilman. She said it was just one brunch mm -hmm. that was crazy, but actually it was two. The one where um, Latrice and Marie met for the first time, and because of that hair situation, she just went ham instead of pulling her to the side and saying something. She just crossed, you know, said in front of everybody. So Letitia feels attacked, so to speak, um, because she feels like, you know, y'all can't make me change my friends. Mm -mm. So no, y'all the one need to come together. <laughs> y'all need to get it together. And Latrice, y'all both was wrong. So y'all both need to apologize. Latrice was like, what I need to apologize for? She came with me, came for me. And I agree with her 100%. She mm -hmm. has no reason to apologize. <clears throat> well, Letitia. 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 Letitia still has that hood mentality when she's trying to do business. You know, when you got the people you hanging with is damaging your brand, your image, yep. you got to cut them people loose if you want to, uh, to continue to make money and expand your brand. Because that image right there is the main reason why it kept her moving forward yep. on the project. So... <clears throat> Even though Kaylon did say something and got Marie stirred up. So I know y'all probably say it was Kaylon that did it the last time. Right, y'all. But it was Marie that did it the first time. Now, <laughs> see, I can say she saw the first episode, okay? Now, it's, it's starting to make sense to me. Maria, Marie is the bully. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, and Latrice, Latish, she got to understand, man, you got business, man. You don't want your image tarnished like that. You, yeah. you don't, you know? I know that's your girl and everything. But your girl is going to keep you from making money. Your girl is going to keep you from making strides in life, in your business. And she got to understand that. All that ride and die and hood mentality, man, when it comes to business, man, you got to let that you stuff go, right. man. <clears throat> so Antoinette 
um, basically told Tamara, we need to stay out of other folks' business. Says the person that's still in other folks' business. Because when you had your little sage party, like they had showed the clip, y'all was talking about Letitia, y'all was talking about Marie. You didn't invite Marie. So, you know, um, so she was telling her, you need to stay out of other folks' business. And so it got a little... Well, it got a little semi heated. I don't even think that was real on internet part. I think Tamara was saying, "Well, hold up, I'm trying to bring women together." We're no, trying she to, was. She was trying to bring no, women, women together because she, they, first of all, y'all all, all got to work together on this show, and so um, she's just trying to bring the women together. Antoinette was like, "Well, you know, we need to stay out of other folks' business and let them, you know." And the clapping started. Clap, 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 clap. Fake, 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 fake on this end. Because Antoinette was like, and you uh, bring black women together. You the one said that you ain't never experienced colorism. Because uh, uh, Tamara was like, uh, are you black? You the one said, I experienced it. Now, I think that was a real moment for her. But then when she was saying, da da da, and it's like her teeth, and it's like she was laughing, and it's just like, Arr. and then it's she's like, she's a little laughing. pit bull. She's a little pit bull. But That's I don't all. think it was real. Uh, and then the next thing, you know, I apologize. Well, she probably realized, you know. After Latrice got in front of her, and she like, she don't like internet, so she gonna find every little thing. Can to you tell? Yeah. But anyway, what I was about to say about Tamra is that. She didn't bring them women together for sisterhood. She brought them women together for the clean up that situation. Well, yeah, uh, we know Maria's the, situ uh, the problem, but we still don't need to act like that. You know, she trying to save face, okay, because what happened with the city council. And to me, that's not basically what she's telling them girls. Just even though Maria's a bullet, just go along with it. Just stay cool, ride the wave. So my girl here, Latish. Could get her business right. That's just what I took it. And it wasn't about no sisterhood. Because it was sisterhood. They, should, they would have invited Maria. Okay. But they, she didn't. She did So she was trying to clean up the, the situation. So, you know, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, I know Maria's the problem. But y'all just go along with it. And so my girl can get what she got to get. I, guess I see your point. But still, Antoinette was fake. No, she was real passionate. Nah, she was fake. So, <laughs> Antoinette is um, pulled after that little fake moment. They pull her to the side and well, she pulled Latrice to the side and just talking about how scared she is to start her practice and open it up, which is a natural fear. You uh, know what I'm saying? Okay. Um, totally um, a, a fear of just doing some things and not being received by other people or making sure mm -hmm. that you do it right. So, yeah, that's a natural fear. Now, now, I admit, that was a real moment. I admit the first part of her... Um, Squeaky voice, yeah, that was kind of you know put on. But this part here, I really think was genuine because I felt that because she's so used to having her husband as a support, right? Somebody to go to, right? Uh, if she fails, she got somebody to fall back on. She don't have that now, and she put all her money in this practice, and like she said, if it flops, she she's bankrupt. Yeah. So she put all, and that's a scary, scary it feeling, is. man. Yeah. So I felt when she was doing that, man, yeah. and she's young too. So she's saying, you know, this is my make it or break it moment. Yeah. And so, and like like she said, my, I, I used to be married. So if this was a flop, I had my husband to fall back on. Now he's like, here, I don't got no, I don't have anybody to fall back on. So yeah, you know, so Antoinette, don't worry about it, girl. You got this. <clears throat> so. She's like, you know. No, no, she, no, no, she no I that. definitely don't want that. No. Um, so yeah, I just, you know, she just. Don't hold much on the show, but uh, hold up now. If you gonna call her out on the show, you need to call Squeaky Voice out on the show. I, and her, okay, and Marie, okay. Marie needs to take care of her health and them children. So anyway, so um, she cried in Latrice's arms, and um, and Latrice was there to comfort her and, and to, me, to encourage her right. because she probably knows how she feels the kind of even though she had a husband, her right. clip or whatever, but she kind of built she built her whole thing according right. to her from scratch, you know. So she probably knows how it is. So I like their friendship. Not sure if they was friends before this show started. Um, does it seem like it? But I do like their friendship, and I think that they can encourage each other because she said she'll be there for her and, every step and, of the way. Yeah, and I'm glad you brought it up because to me. That's sisterhood it right is, there. It is. It is. See, two <laughs> women supporting one another. You know what I'm saying? That's what it's all about. Yeah. You know, all this, y'all even read all that bull crap? No, no. That, right, that scene right there, that's 
what I'm calling empowerment right yeah. now. Yeah, and, and I agree because I think at that moment, all the girls should have came in there to support right, her in that right. thing, but she pulled it to the side, which I think it would have been better if all the girls would have been but there. But I think she did it the right way because, you know, uh, Tamara, they just got through arguing. Right. And, you know, uh, she just got through talking about Maria to uh, Lati Letitia, mm -hmm. you know, or Tisha. So, uh, yeah. I think she did it the right way. She found the person she felt like she was... She was comfortable with to confide in. Right. So, yeah. All right, you guys. On that note, that's all I got. Um, all we got. That's all I got to talk about. That's all we got. That's all we got. I, I was speaking we for me. Got. I was going to ask you, is that all you got? Because that's a safe I know. I, I I'm got. just picking. It's Saturday. And I'm just having fun because I'm off today. And... I know y'all wanted to know that. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys. So on that note, we're going to go ahead and get out of here. Don't forget to go to our website to check out our collection of clothing. I made this myself. It says what? My Black is Making History. Period. With the T. That's for the ladies. And um, do have one for the guys. Or you can get the guys. They're unisex shirts. So, yeah, my black is my black. I said this to my mama. She said, what that mean? I said my black skin, mama. Oh, okay. Now I get it. I was like, mama. She old. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> so, on that note, you guys, we're going to go ahead and get out of here. You can find this. T on coedwear.com, coedwear.com. You're going to purchase it over there. It's on sale. So, yeah, go check that out. And if you want to become a member, don't forget to look down below and look at the join button and become a member. So, that's all we got. We will see you guys on the next video. Don't forget to go with God and let God go with you. Deuces.